Okay, so we're gonna move on to the word problem section. Um, these are really imperative for next year in grade 10 because both foundations and workplace has a trigonometry section. And this would sort of be the intro to solving problems involving more than one right triangle. Okay, so they're, um, it's just really important that you can see the shared characteristics here. Okay, so are the two triangles similar? And the answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you why. There are two triangles here, so I'm gonna try and do this here. There's a one giant triangle like this, triangle P, T, or P, Q, T. But then there's another triangle, little baby triangle, I call this one, okay, R, S, T. And you can see that they, first of all, both have 90 degree angles, and they also both shared this angle, which by default means this angle and this angle have to be exactly the same, which makes them similar triangles. Okay, so that's the gist of it. That's a yes. And now we want to find the length of QT, so this whole big bottom here. Okay, and we think, how are we going to do that? Well, I always separate these triangles and I draw them separately. So I take the big giant triangle, mama triangle, okay, and I know that it's nine, but I don't know this bottom. That's the QT. That's the part that I'm trying to find. But then if I take the baby triangle, which we've just determined, okay, is similar. We have three and we have four. And lo and behold, all of a sudden you're back at your regular uh, assignment that you've been doing the last couple of days where you can see that you can compare sides. You can either find a scale factor or you can set up proportions. Okay, so do we have corresponding sides? Indeed, we do. Okay, so because we have all the measurements here, I'm going to call that the original. And this is going to be the scale. So I can do this using scale factor. So I can go scale over original, 9 over 3, which is 3. And once I figure that out, I can take my original and multiply it by 3 and get 12 here, 12 centimeters. So that's one way to do it. Or I could have instantly set it up as a proportion and said, okay, I could have done it any way that I wanted here. When 3 is 9, we know that 4 is x and we can cross multiply get 3x is equal to 36 divide both sides by 3 and we get 12 exactly the same thing okay so you have to understand that there's two triangles that share some things there okay and then it says if pt so let's check out what that is that's our hypotenuse here is 15 okay what is the length of rt Okay, so you can see when we went from the original up here and made an enlargement, we multiplied by 3. So in your head, you might think, I'm just going to divide by 3 and you're going to get 5 centimeters. Okay, that's one way to do that. Okay, so now this one looks a little weirder because Tanya is 1.3 meters tall and she stands 7 meters in front of a tree and casts a shadow 1 and 8 tenth of a meter long. How tall is the tree? Okay, so I'm just going to do what we did up here and draw that we have two triangles. You don't really see them because it's a tree and a human, but we've got a little triangle. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the big triangle over here, and I'm sorry that I'm so sloppy here. Okay, now we know that Tanya is 1.3 meters tall. Sorry, I should be saying 1 and 3 tenths. Okay, and she casts a shadow that's 1 and 8 tenths of a meter. So we have measurements on this one, so I'm going to call that the original. And now you might say to me, but we have no measurements for the other one. But we do, because if you read, she's standing 7 meters in front here. So there's 7 plus the 1 and 8 tenths of a meter. So this measurement here is 8 and 8 tenths of a meter. Okay, so you have to be able to read that. And now we're going to find out how tall the tree is. Okay, and this is where I tend to walk away from scale factor, and I don't know why. Okay, you can still use it, but I just like to set it up with corresponding sides. Okay, so I've got this measurement here, which corresponds to the 1 and 8 tenths. So I'm going to go like this. 8 and 8 tenths matches up with the 1 and 8 tenths when I don't know matches up with the 1 and 3 tenths. And so now what you're going to do is you're just going to take your calculator. Okay, I don't expect you to do this the long way. If you want to show off, you can. 11 and 44 tenths of a meter. We're going to divide both sides by 1 and 8 tenths. And you should get that the tree is around six and four tenths of a meter tall. Okay, and remember what I said whenever we have a word problem, the tree is six and four tenths of a meter tall. Okay, so now shadows are always going to be on the ground. So let's draw. Stephanie casts a shadow of one and two tenths of a meter. 
She is one and eight tenths of a meter tall. So there's my triangle. We have a wind turbine. Okay, that's obviously gonna be much larger and we're not drawing this to scale, even though this is a scale unit. Cast a shadow of 10 meters at the same time that Stephanie measured her shadow. So really this is what you originally draw it as, right? There's a big giant wind turbine. It's, the sun is shining, okay? And Stephanie's standing like right here, okay? But again, I, I like to separate my two triangles. So here's Stephanie, here's the wind turbine. This is what the original photo would look like. Draw a diagram of the situation and then calculate how tall the wind turbine is. Okay, do we have corresponding sides? Okay, yes we do. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up like this. 10 meters is the shadow of the wind turbine when one and two tenths of a meter is the shadow of Stephanie. We don't know how tall the wind turbine is, but we know that Stephanie is one and eight tenths of a meter tall. One and two tenths of a meter is equal to 18. When we multiply by 10, we're gonna divide both sides by one and two tenths. And we figured out that the wind turbine is 15 meters tall, or 15 meters is the height of the turbine because we're always going to have a sentence okay so now i'm going to give you an assignment from the textbook just a few questions to try